Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the detect tempo from region shortcut. Uh, now this is an excellent shortcut, especially if you're into remixing or if you're a uh, composer or producer trying to figure out the tempo of um, maybe a sample or, or something that you've been given from someone else. Um, okay, so first things first, I've got this audio file in here. Uh, let's just check to see if this um, matches the tempo of the project, uh, which is currently 97 beats per minute. Uh, I've got the metronome on, let's just have a quick listen. So just hearing that, we're, it, it's pretty clear that this is not in time. Um, we're not hearing the metronome at the start of the where the hi-hats come in um, or where the piano uh, starts. Um, so let's zoom in even further and you can actually check this visually as well. Um, we can see this here, this little spike here. Uh, this transient uh, should be uh, aligning with a with a beat really uh, and it's not aligning up with the third beat so 7.3 and it's not aligning up with the beginning of the bar either uh, 7 or 8. Okay so it's pretty clear to say that this is definitely out of time okay uh, 297 beats per minute. Okay so how do we how do we you know how do we find out what the tempo actually is? Uh, what you need to do is like I say import an audio file and then you need to click on it uh, so it highlights and then press Command, Option and T. Excellent, right, now we get this little window up here, right? Uh, and first things first, uh, Logic says that this, this you know, this um, audio file tempo is 120 beats per minute, not 97, right? So that's already um, a, a pretty big jump, right? Um, now let's skip over the advanced options for now. Come down here where it says apply region tempo to project. We want to leave this in because you want Logic to uh, write the new tempo in to the project so that it matches this audio file, so it matches this track, okay? Um, I would advise using use average tempo. If I uncheck this, notice how the tempo changes to 79 beats per minute, okay? Now that's because there's a bit of reverb on this. Some of the uh, beginning uh, beginnings of the bars are not super clear. Uh, especially at the beginning when there's a bit more reverb and um, and uh, less clear um, rhythm. So just check your audio file. It may be that this this is fine without the average tempo, um, and there are some uses for that, but generally speaking, check that one. Uh, continue with new tempo after region. So once this audio file stops playing, Logic's going to keep this project in 120 BPM and not go back to 97 be uh, beats per minute. Uh, now finally, flex region to project tempo. Now what this does is it just nudges the whole region, this whole track, into, into line with the bar. Okay, so in our case this will be um, bar one. Right, now going back to advanced options, um, what we've got here is a little table of um, what Logic reckons uh, half time is and double time is based on the detected uh, tempo. So it detected 120, right? So that's normal time, that's what this project, uh, what this file is in. So this this track here is in 120 beats per minute. So half of that speed would be 60 beats per minute. So if you want Logic to match up this audio file, so this track, to 60 beats per minute, so half time, uh, so that all the, uh, all the beats and bars match 60 beats per minute, all you need to do is click half time and it will change the average tempo to 60 beats per minute. And then it will write in um, the, the tempo into global tracks for you. Okay, uh, likewise for double time and so on. Uh, now, more importantly, underneath this, write the tempo information to the audio file. So once you bounce this, uh, this file down, uh, Logic will in, uh, encode the metadata into the file so that when you open this track into a, into a new project, it will prompt up uh, with Logic saying, we've noticed that this track's in 120 BPM. Do you want us to change the project settings uh, to, to match that? Um, I would probably say yes to doing this um, unless you've got a particular reason why you wouldn't want to do that um, because it will save you having to do this de uh, detection every time you load this file in. Okay, and again, use average tempo, same as same as before, and nudge regions to beat. Um, this is this is the same as the flex region to project tempo, really. Uh, okay, so now all we need to do is click OK, and you see uh, there they have the audio um, audio file seem to jump there. Uh, that's because all of the beats should now be matching up. Um, and Logic has changed the uh, tempo, as we can see it uh, up here, to 120. 
Uh, if we just click G for global tracks uh, and we zoom in, you can see here, this is where Logic has detected each bar and each beat of this entire track, okay? Uh, so it means that um, at every every beat has been aligned. Uh, this means that you can also flex time um, this in as well. And if you wanted to change, you know, any of the tempo, you could just change one of these nodes here like this as well. Okay. All right. Now let's have a quick listen to this and just see if this is actually in time. So that, that sounds absolutely bang on to me. And if we zoom in ever so slightly, uh, we can see here that that hi-hat is coming in uh, bang on beat nine now, uh, sorry, bar nine, um, meaning that we're absolutely bang on in time. And it sounds like it, which I think is the, the more important thing there. Uh, okay, so um, now I've got another track here. So suppose you've got more than one track that you wanna tempo match. Uh, do exactly the same thing. Click on your, on your other track, your other region, uh, command plus option plus T. And there we go, same thing. It says that this uh, audio region, this track, is in uh, the average tempo of 92 beats per minute. So I'm gonna click OK. Uh, that snaps the bars into time. Uh, and now if we uh, press G again for global tracks and we uh, look at the tempo here, if we zoom in, so bar 81, we've got this drop down here, right? So this tempo drop down. Uh, and what that means is that uh, Logic is changing the tempo of the project. Okay, so from bar 80, we're in 120 beats per minute. And as soon as we get to 81, it now switches to 92 beats per minute. Uh, so actually, let's have a listen from bar 79 all the way through to um, the, new, the new track and just see if the metronome is matching up with the um, with the audio. So it's absolutely bang on, uh, which is which is excellent, right? And that's why this is such a good um, such a good tool. Um, and there we go, that's it. Um, so now the project will uh, will be in this um, in this new tempo. Uh, and if you want to delete any of these nodes, all you need to do, by the way, is in Global Tracks. Just click and select and you can just delete those like that uh, and there we go um, that's how you do it uh, really helpful i think if you're doing uh, remixing uh, between tracks um, and at the very least it gives you a good idea as to what the tempo of whatever region it is that you've um, imported in actually is uh, but yeah there we go if you like this video guys uh, give us a thumbs up uh, if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button uh, and as always thanks for watching